Hey guys, welcome to Grizzly Lodge. There's no better way than showing up in the lodge in the Unimog. We're getting fresh snow right now. So we wanted to do a video because we haven't in a long time of what it's actually like to come to Grizzly Lodge and all the things that are the improvements that every year, day, every year they do to make your stay here better. So we're standing out in the middle courtroom here. And this is the place that everybody parks all their sleds. So you have quick access to them. If you forgot something, you just come out or you can come out on the all new patio, full floating cement uh, patio there that also gives more garage space down below. So super cool. And then we've got the giant garage over here where Adam and his crew can do any work that they need to do, service, work. You can also use it if you have a problem with your snowmobile. And look over there. That's right, a brand new groomer. 2017, rumor has it comes, came all the way from Sun Peaks and Theo Epp drove it over, if you can believe that. So uh, very cool, you're gonna see better grooming, uh, easier grooming, more grooming from, from the parking lot all the way up to the lodge. And of course, your 10 minutes to the Alpine via that sweet trail that'll take you right into the mountains, whether you're going over to ride Lichen or riding, riding up to Pukashin. So uh, let's cruise on in. What a beautiful day, we've got new snow and uh, Pat couldn't be more pumped to be back here. We have a great crew. We've been coming here since literally 2008 and uh, we have a crew, we come twice a year. And the early season uh, for us is really about being with our good sled buddies and having fun and meeting up for the first time. And we also get lots of riding in, even though the conditions are still early season. But as you can see, the new floating um, pad up here is tons of sp uh, space, great place the, the chef can barbecue. And of course, the Grizzly Lodge logo went in there years ago, but it looks so good. So you're coming to a world-class resort and we're gonna take you inside and show you why we love coming here. Make sure you kick your boots off before you come inside. All right, so we're inside the main hallway right now and the first people you're gonna see is Tom. And that's the person you've been talked to about your stay. But here's all the, the guts of the room. So you, we've got clothing that you can purchase. By the way, you can purchase it off their website too if you wanna support them and make great Christmas presents for all your friends and families, whether it's hoodies, uh, new toques, they're always doing something cool. This is the new sh shirt this year. What's your vacation? You wanna go to Hawaii? No, or you wanna go to Grizzly Lodge, there you go. And uh, just super, super cool. And as we walk in here, here's the maps of the area. So if you have any questions, of course, you can always hire a guide here. They'll take you to all those places. They'll match your ability to where they're gonna take you but they can also point out the hot spots that uh, you probably want to hit and our good old charter of rights and freedoms that have been broken several times. And, um, and so uh, here's Nick, the chef. Nick, what's your favorite meal to make in the lodge? Oh, it's gotta be hot dogs. It's probably hot. We had hot dog especialities. Uh, you know, people were bugging me about that, but everybody loved it because if you go to Mexico and you have a hot dog especially on the side of the road, it's delicious after a night out on the town, but probably not the next day. So Nick fired up some amazing hot dog especialities and uh, Ben, don't go anywhere yet. And uh, so we had those the other night with brisket. So I want to introduce you to one of the, one of the new guys here that, you know, they, they grow them, they grow them pretty small here in BC. I don't know what happened to me. I obviously was like a, you know, I was, a, a, I was, a, I, was a, I was a weed that got stepped on. But Ben's one of the guys here that, that will be looking after you, looking after the lodge, and you'll see him firing all over the place. So yeah. welcome to Grizzly Lodge. You love you like working here? Yeah, love it so far. You've been, yeah. you, you know, people often think, hey, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna work at Grizzly Lodge and ride every day. But you know, Adam's got these guys on a tight chain, so That's they, get, right. they get to ride when when the conditions are good. But they're always up here, so a ride's ten minutes away. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, thanks. We're gonna we're gonna check out uh, the rest of the lodge, and as we come in here, look at this. Snacks laid out for lunch already. So when you show up here, you're probably gonna have some lunch food and you're gonna head out and ride because you're coming in in the morning. And then uh, they'll have app appetizers and dinner and this is where it's all gonna happen. And these are the great uh, rooms. And here's one of the rad people here right now. Let me, I'll, I'll do what Riley normally does. She's normally standing behind here making great drinks. So this is Riley. Riley, say hi to everybody. Hi everybody. If you've been here before, you know Riley. And um, this is where, the rest of your night takes place. You're having a cold one with your friends anywhere in the lodge and we're out in the hot tub and they're gonna come and serve you. I think one of the best things about Grizzly Lodge is it feels like it's a one-to-one -one ratio service. They're everywhere, they're, they're serving you dinner, cleaning up and serving you drinks and getting you food all at the same time and it happens 
like you don't even know. And that's what's great when at the end of your day, you just want to sit down and relax and they, they take care of everything else. So uh, we, we love these guys and, and they do such a great job. And, and uh, you can see some of the crew right now. Um, brand new pouches this year. So one of the cool things Grizzly Lodge does is they put a lot of their money that they make back into the lodge. So for comfort, so better couches, uh, they got the pool table. Uh, of course, they got the Ski-Doo old iron up on the wall. And uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful lodge. It's snowing outside right now. So what, I don't think you could be in a better place. I got to get out of this hot attire steel. So let's go down to the, uh, to the all important bowling room. And as you can see, the old pan around, but we've got places for your uh, gloves and boots right there. And then we've got all these racks for all your gear. Kind of feels like a little bit like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, eh? Feel like we're talking, we're ripping our stuff off and uh, putting it on the wall. And you're guaranteed if you want to go for a night night ride, all your stuff is going to be ready to go. So that's what I'm going to do is put it all on the drying racks. And uh, look at that, we're ready to party and ready to hot tub. And they've done a great job with the system here. Look at these racks. Even Dave Nerona can reach him. Barely. And gloves, right here. Everything's got heat and warm air running through it. Um, and you can see with the floor, this uh, will get a little wet, but it falls through to the floor and dries. And uh, yeah, this is where the magic happens. In here is the guide's room. So they have all their stuff in there. And of course the garage if you need work on your sled, anything else. Let's go upstairs. So you know my buddy Theo, uh, look at the ceiling on that. Theo put in the new drywall ceiling, took out the popcorn ceiling and new carpet. Um, so just more upgrades to the lodge, just fantastic. And uh, making your, your uh, nights here super comfortable. So they can, they can house about 24 guests with this lower and the upper, but they'll always fit, they always fit people in. Look at this, no one's in the hot tub. We'll go right out here. So we've got a big hot tub here. Look at this, like I said, the crew will come out, get you drinks, whatever you want. You want a coffee, you want a tea, you want a drink, whatever you want, water, and they keep you all hydrated. And then in here is a bathroom. It's a little wet and I'm in socks, but uh, here's the bathroom. Oh, you can sneak in here. You can open the door. And uh, in here we've got full heated floors, shower, bathroom, and then Theo and I just were in the sauna. So look at that, full on sauna. Absolutely awesome. Everything here is to make your day after riding. Awesome. Hey Theo, let's go up to our room, eh? Yeah. Because uh, Theo and I have, uh, you know, we're like cattle. This is where the luxury is. Theo and I are up in the uh, the cattle division, you know, also known as the back of the plane. And we're gonna go check it out now. It is good to see the snow. What, Theo? Yes, very nice. <laughs> These guys went for a one hour ride here in Akron. Yeah. Hey, what do you guys think of Grizzly Lodge? Top shelf. Top Can't shelf. Can't beat it. Can't yeah. beat it. And good to see the snow, look at this. Absolutely. Right. New can be waist deep by tonight. We're gonna be, we're gonna be out in it tonight. Number 16. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mostly because it's a big room and uh, Theo and I can be far apart because he snores like a freight train. And uh, anyway, so you can see the comfort here with the beds. Uh, you got lots of places to uh, um, charge your GoPros and phones and all that sort of stuff or just have some private time if you want to do that when you're up here with your family or if, if you're here with two or three guests. and. The rest of the lodge is going crazy. You can come up here and chill out. And uh, yeah, it's the magic of Grizzly Lodge. So if you have any questions and you've never been here, put them in the comments below and we'll be, I'll answer them. Um, but if you haven't been here, you have to come and experience Grizzly Lodge. Um, there's a few places in BC that I love going. And this is one of my favorites. And the reason is, is just because 
The riding area is amazing. Um, the snow is usually really good. And people, the people here are just solid British Columbia good people, meaning they're gonna take, take, look after you and get you all the things you need. And I think that's uh, really important. So put Grizzly Lodge on your list of places to go. And if you, you know, lots of people are trying to get in here all the time, but let Tom know. And sometimes rooms come up, guys can't make their trip and you can hop in for two or three days. And that's a really good way to do it. Often that's what we do. And um, yeah, that, that way sometimes you can capture the best snow. And uh, on that note, some people will always ask, well, how's the snow, how's this? This is more than great snow. I know we want good snow when we snowmobile, but I guarantee when you come here, the snowmobiling is just one of the rad things you're gonna do. Everything, everything here is really awesome. That's why we come here. And why we come here early season is for the camaraderie and all our friends. And we can always have good times on the snow, whether we're out adventuring, making fires, or whether we're riding deep how. But it really ends up all here in the lodge. This is where you're gonna spend the majority of your time. And, uh, and then again, that's why we come here at Grizzly Lodge. We'll see you later.